What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing great. My name is Miles. If you're brand new here, I post three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday to help you make more money with Amazon Online Arbitrage. I've done, as you can see from the beautiful orange bars on the screen here, about 1.8 million in sales the last 12 months. Looking forward to next month or so getting that to 2 million in the last uh, 12 months and everything like that. But excited that you guys are watching here. I got my uh, got my Buy Box Bandits podcast merch. Make sure you guys check out the podcast link in the description as well as if you're interested in getting my direct help working directly with me to scale your online arbitrage business book a call down below that's second, uh, it's only the second time we talked about it on the channel here so make sure you check out that free discord and all that but let's up uh, talk about so in this video we're gonna talk about like what replenishables are how i've used them the direct impact they've made on making me six figures multiple six figures in profit at this point and then most importantly how you can go ahead and find them. But replenishables are really the whole of holy grail of growing your arbitrage business because there's a compounding effect. And there's a really good book. It's called The Compound Effect. There's a book called The Slight Edge. You, you should read both those. That talk a lot about how right compounding skills, traits, money can be really powerful in different stuff. And it's no different in terms of building out your Amazon catalog, right? The goal is to have products you can buy, sell through and buy again over and over again. So that way you put in the upfront work to find them once potentially, and then you can go ahead and repurchase them over and over again. So I'm a big fan of that model. That's done really well for me. You guys can see here last June, I did about 50K of sales. And then last July was about 60K. And then immediately it's been pretty much uh, over 95K every month since with over 10,000 in profit. And uh, many of those months over 20,000 and uh, everything like that. But come here, we can see that uh, for August was the first 100K month and in sales and previously in june july may of last year 2021 i had pretty much just been selling everything anything and everything i could get my hands on i wasn't focused on longevity wasn't focused on you know really repricing the right way i was setting my minimums too low and i was repricing doing different things and august is where i started to replenish different inventory there was some stuff for back to school i was merchant filling and selling really really quick and it's actually interesting i didn't do any fba uh last year until september which is pretty crazy but you can see once i started mixing in fba october was a little slow and then november popped off 30k profit 50k profit and then a little slower Jan uh january and february but now we're back up at a similar volume and everything like that and that is thanks to the compounding effect of replenishable items that i'm able to validate that i'm able to gain a lot of buy box share because i have a, have a, a high in stock rate that i have a lot showing on the buy box statistics on and everything and so i started doing that in august and that's immediately when my sales really took off and i really started to see damn i can make some really good uh really good money with this stuff and everything like that like over you know 10 15 thousand dollars a month profit and obviously you know i've been doing this for years it'll be three years in july but nothing really clicked till about a year ago february march of 2021 right so it took a while and that was uh, a lot of which due to ungating and different stuff like that but now i have a pretty good sense of it and i'm able to help a bunch of people do similar stuff and yeah, like I said at the start of the video, if you want direct help, check out the, uh, the description, but we'll uh, talk about how you can go ahead and start today finding replenishable items because I have students and the easiest items I tell them to always find are the items you've already sold because you've already found them profitably. And if you validated them, why not buy more if it makes sense? And obviously sometimes, you know, there's the case of they were bought on a, you know, a Memorial Day sale or a 4th of July sale or a Christmas, Black Friday sale, something like that. But there's tons of low hanging fruit that is typically available, right? Especially if you're in a location or have the infrastructure in place to send inventory to like Delaware or Oregon or something working with the prep center in that regard. So you're working less and there's different sales tax rules that uh, apply to those, which are or just the sales tax is different if you're shipping those states, which is pretty awesome. Uh, as arbitrage sellers, like I send a lot of my stuff to New Hampshire and everything like that. But looking at sales really took off during um, once I started doing replenishable items. And the big thing is that the compound effect of that is having stuff that three months from now, if you start today and work on it every day for a while, you get very good at this. Like It's crazy. If you do something every day for three to six months, you get very good at it, right? And it's no different with this stuff. So if you apply this information, you'll make money, but understand that it's going to take a while, right? Nothing good comes quick. And this is no different. Getting good at this scale is the same way. It's going to take a lot of work and everything like that. But looking um, right here, so just immediately here, coming on damn the honey stuff's really annoying i think i might turn that off again but coming right here so we can see this uh basic shoe it's got 493 reviews it has no sales rank which is actually a good sign uh which you can search on keep up product finder which let me know if you want to see a video on that how to use um that but right here we can immediately see just looking at this keep a chart this isn't selling like crazy but it's it, the price is pretty stable 
right? We get the FEM, it's very similar, right? And we can see here that clearly people are selling this. And if the price isn't necessarily going down too much, like this is over the last year, you'd be pretty happy. This really doesn't um, sell too quick. I think some of these other sizes do. If we look at the uh, the Keepa right here. Okay, yeah, so that's weird that this one sells so much quicker, but just looking at the chart, it clearly does. We can see that here the last month, it's pretty much been that $80 price range. And then for all of... Uh, all of April, it was in like the 85 and it's been a little higher. So it's pretty stable in the grand scheme of things, like especially because there's been a lot of new sellers and everything. So there's a good chance that this is a replenishable product, right? And I love these variation type listings just because it confuses people and everything. It adds a layer of complexity, different sizes, right? And typically, another reason why I like some of this stuff, and there's uh, variation listings in every category, right? It makes sense, shoes, bunch of different sizes, different colors, all that on the same like shoe model or whatever. I like this stuff because there's a layer of complexity and typically if you find one of these colors and size is good, there's a good chance you'll be able to find other sizes from the same site at a similar profitable price, right? You can see here 10 is 65, so 70, that makes sense. 65 definitely makes sense. Probably, definitely, even though no buy box. Uh, maybe not, but we'd have to pay at a $65 sale price. We'd want to pay like 36. Yeah, anything, 35 would be great. Yeah, and Seller Amp, which once again, you guys should definitely have Seller Amp. Make sure you get a free trial if you don't. Right up here, I'm going to move myself over here as we come down. I'm going to move myself down here, actually. Okay, so we looked at the keep chart, and we can see that clearly there's longevity here. It's not super volatile, right? And if we come here and go to data, and then we can see the product details. We can see like the average price and everything. I don't look too much at this one, though. I like offers right here scrolling down, and you can see when people were first seen on the listing. And there's guys that have been on for like two months, two months, 11 months, 52 days ago, 53 days ago, right? two months ago, 51 days ago, 53 days ago, 13 months ago, 13 months ago, right? If they were on it a while ago and they're still on it, right? And the first scene is like when they were first seen. So who knows that they were in stock the whole time, right? We can, uh, we can see from the buy box statistics, right? When, if, what percentage of the buy box share people have had, right? So there's an idea that, okay, they were first on, seen on it a while ago. And then if they're still on it and they've had buy box share, they're definitely making money on it, right? So if other people are making money on it, why can't we also find it profitably, right? Assuming it's an arbitrage product, which this definitely is based on that Amazon isn't on it and it's three third party sellers right here. And we can see some of these guys that have been on it in a while have tons of reviews. Like this guy has 10,000 reviews. I have like under 500 and I going to do multiple main and sales. So imagine how much he's doing, right? And if they've been selling it for a while, there's a good chance you can, because we know that we can all pay the same thing in theory, right? Because we're doing all doing arbitrage. So we'll uh, just take a look, see if we can find this for 36 right here. Just a nice one click with a uh, seller amp right here. So these might work if there's a coupon. Extra wide, extra wide, normal. Okay, this check this, uh, check this black one right here. So we are paying 45. They have a bunch of different sizes right here. And the Rocketon's really nice typically on this site too. I think it's like 10%, six to 10% typically. We're paying 44, so 76, $45 cost, 76, 76. Again, okay, there's no buy box. So these guys don't have a lot in stock. So there's a decent, decent chance these guys will sell out pretty quickly, um, potentially, right? Just looking at the Keepa. So if we're paying 45 and we can get sales at 85, which the buy box would probably need to come back or those people would need to sell out. But once again, this is the kind of thing where potentially you could merchant fill it and there's no risk then. In 11, okay, well, little uh, free lead for you guys in uh, in that regard right here. 45, we'll call it like 47 if you're paying sales tax right there. And then that's the, that's the key, right? This is replenishable, right? Because it's, or potentially, right? We can see this specific color we know is being found profitable. If we go to data offers, can scroll here and see four months ago, uh, recent, 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 13 months ago, two months ago, right? Six months ago, 13 months ago, five months ago, right? They, they've been on it for a while. So there's a decent chance it's uh, pretty good. And then the typical protocol, right? With seller amp, you guys have seen, if you haven't already check out my other reverse sourcing videos, it's going through and just opening up uh, competition on the listings, right? Like who's in this buy box. So we can pull up some of these sellers right here, see what else they're selling. Using seller amp, you can uh, category filter right here. You can brand filter. And if you haven't already, you should definitely get a free trial of it. It's uh, linked in the description right there. Uh, it's our tool and everything. And then I'd open up some more of these sellers, see what else they're uh, rocking with. This guy's a thousand reviews as well. So he's definitely making a bunch of money. And then typical protocol, right? 
look through what Keepa charts make sense for you, maybe brand filter, maybe category filter, and you can hop in there and f potentially find some other profitable items because we know that if this is stable, right, what else are some of these sellers also selling, right? Because if we're getting it from the same place and everything like that, there's a good chance that they're also doing online arbitrage and nearly guarantee it. And there'll be other products that they've also been on for a while, which you can validate with with offers. And you can validate if they're making money by looking in the buy box statistics, right? Because if they're getting a lot of buy box share, they're in stock a while ago and they're still in stock. There's a good chance they're doing their best to get more of those items. And the only reason why they would want more of those items is because they're making money. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video and hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. And thank you guys for 7,000 subs. We're probably gonna hit it today. Appreciate it, guys.